Welcome to the handheld multimeter safety presentation. In this presentation, I will be sharing with you on how to select a handheld DMM that is safe for your application. Can you just use any handheld DMM to measure high voltage? The answer is no. Different types of helmets are designed to protect your head from injuries while rock climbing, bicycle riding or skiing. The same applies to handheld multimeters. Different multimeters are designed with different levels of protection against common electrical hazards. For your own safety, you should consider three of these handheld multimeter selection criteria when dealing with main circuit measurement. The first consideration is the rated voltage of the circuit you are measuring. The multimeter you select should have sufficient voltage rating for the circuit under test. Secondly is protection against high voltage transients caused by load switching or lightning storms. These transients can vary from a few hundred volts to 8000 volts, lasting up to a few hundred microseconds. The energy capacity of the circuit must be considered as well. Measurements performed at higher energy circuits are usually more hazardous than measurements at lower energy circuits. IEC has defined four measurement categories for main circuits. This is the rating of test instruments based on their ability to resist voltage spike. CAT2 applies to equipment connected to the wall socket. CAT3 applies to building circuit installations that are completely within the building. CAT4 applies to the source of the building electrical installation. All other circuitry is placed in a separate category called Other or CAT1. For equipment intended to measure main circuits, manufacturers are required to mark the rated measurement category on the equipment to indicate the maximum transient the meter can safely withstand. Next, you should consider the capability of handheld DMM to safely withstand high current surges which could contribute to an arc flash. An arc flash occurs when high current flows through the test leads and the multimeter due to incorrect test leads placement when measuring high voltages. Arcing can cause an explosion at the probe tips or within the meter. Reputable manufacturers have addressed this phenomenon by using a high capacity fuse in the current measuring circuit of the meter to control the arc flash. Meters that are equipped with a small glass fuse may not be able to control these high current events which could start an arc flash and cause the meter to explode. Lastly, look for a handheld DMM with third-party safety certification. Reputable manufacturers of handheld DMMs will evaluate the product themselves and will also submit the product to a third-party independent testing agency such as CSA and UL. These certification bodies assess products for compliance to specific safety requirements and will authorize the use of their certification marks on the product upon passing their evaluation. In summary, to be safe you should choose a multimeter with a voltage rating higher than the circuit you are measuring. You need at least a CAT3 multimeter for mains measurements and a CAT4 multimeter for measurements close to the main source. For protection against arc flash, Make sure that you select a handheld multimeter designed with a high capacity fuse on the current input circuitry. Lastly, remember to check for the safety certification logos.